Today, I'm going to be taking a closer look at one of the UK's leading digital challenger banks, Starling Bank. I've recently downloaded the app and got my very own mint green card. So as well as giving you an overall review of Starling Bank, I'll take you on a hands-on tour around the app and its features and explain how Starling keeps your money safe and secure. When you sign up with Starling Bank, you get a free current account, mint green debit card, and an app that lets you manage your money, budget, and save all from your phone. Starling Bank works much in the same way as its competitors like Monzo and Revolut, but what sets it apart are its zero card payment fees and no limit on ATM withdrawals, both at home and abroad, and the fact that you can earn interest on your savings without having to use an external provider. Sure, at 0.05%, the interest might not be much to write home about, but it is better than the 0% offered by Monzo and Revolut at this moment. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be reviewing the free current account, but Starling Bank also offer a range of paid for premium accounts with extra features, as well as joint accounts, business accounts, and even a Starling Kite account for kids aged six to 16. Having recently set up my own Starling Bank account, I can say that the sign up process was really easy and straightforward. All you need are a few details, a photo ID, and to record a short clip to confirm your identity. Unlike with other apps, I never felt like I was scrabbling around to find the right documents, and from the get-go, the app's interface is clear and sophisticated. Everything can be done at the click of a button. This is the Starling Bank homepage. From here, you can view your account balance, and you can also see the amount of money that you've spent today. If you toggle over to the left, you can also see the amount of money you've spent this month. At the top, next to your balance total, there's a little plus button, which is where you can easily top up your account and add money. At the bottom of this page, there's this bar feature, which if you drag up, allows you to see all of your recent transactions, which are conveniently categorized. And there's also a search feature, so you can search through any transactions that you may want to review or check out at a later date. In the top right hand corner of the Starling Bank homepage, there's this little person icon. If you click this, it takes you through to your account details. And from here, you can manage your account in much greater detail. For example, you can check out your account information, recent statements, you can add money, you can switch all of the money from your existing bank accounts into your Starling account in a few simple clicks. You can manage your overdraft and your subscriptions, and you can also browse Starling Bank's marketplace where you'll find loads of additional financial products and providers that Starling Bank has partnered with. As well as managing your account, you can manage your card specifically by clicking on the card icon in the bottom navigation menu. Here you will see a digital replica of your card as well as lots of different card controls that you can implement. For example, just underneath your card, there's the option to lock and unlock your card, which I've literally done in two clicks of a button. It's really helpful. Even if you've temporarily misplaced your card, you can quickly sort that out so you don't need to worry while you look for it. Under card controls, you've got more specific options there. For example, you can block your card for being used for ATM withdrawals, online payments or gambling payments, among many others. So you can really tailor this card to be exactly what you need it to be. On the left hand side of the home button, you'll find all of your spending insights. And these can be filtered by month, category or merchant. So again, you can really have a look at your money in the way that's most useful for you. On the far left of the bottom toolbar, you'll see your payments page. This is where you can view all of your recent payments. You can also send and request money, as well as send money to over 38 countries at very competitive rates for a very fair fee. In the payments tab, you can also collate your monthly subscriptions, regular payments and direct debits. So you're really across what's coming out of your account each month. On the far right hand side of the bottom navigation bar, you have what's known as spaces. This is where you can set savings goals and put money aside into separate pots. When you click on new space, it brings up three different options for you to choose from. But let's start with saving spaces. Saving spaces do what they say on the tin really. This is where you can create a separate pot to start saving for a specific goal. So the first option you get when you hit 
saving space is what are you saving for? So you can choose an incentive, for example, I'm gonna save up for a new car. Thank you very much. Once you've decided what you're saving for and you've plugged that in, it takes you through to a screen where you can manage your saving space. So for example, you can set a target amount that you want to save for, and you could also set up regular payments so you don't even have to think about adding money in each month. The app will just do it for you. Connected card space is a really interesting tool. This is again, a separate pot where you can put money in, but you can also order a separate card that is only linked to this connected card space. The connected card space can only hold 200 pounds. So it's a useful tool to make sure you're really sticking to a budget. If you want to stop the card being used at any time, simply withdraw money from the account and the card cannot be used. Now, connected space can only be used for in-person transactions, so you couldn't use this card online, for example. The final feature in the Spaces tab is your child card space. And this is where you can open and manage your child's Starling Kite account. Overall, I found the app really intuitive and easy to use. All the features were exactly where I would expect them to be, and they were equally simple to set up and manage. It surely is. Starling is a fully licensed UK bank and is protected by the same regulations as your other standard bank accounts. The app requires a passcode login or face ID and you can immediately freeze or cancel your card from the app if it gets lost or stolen. Plus, with instant spending notifications, you'll immediately know if there's any unusual activity on your account. Starling Bank is one of our top rated digital challenger banks. The app is user-friendly and efficient and they are constantly expanding its range of features. With zero fees, it's also an excellent choice for travelling abroad. Overall, Styling Bank is a great all-rounder, offering a stylish, no-fuss current account. If you're considering the switch to a digital challenger bank, compare which one is right for you at finder.com. Links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like below or subscribe to our channel. As always, thanks for watching.